お待たせいたしましたただいまより Thank you very much JCAS 2019 Japan Climate Action Summit 2019 We would like to start part two of the program As we start、uh, the second part We would like、uh, to have、uh, congratulatory remarks、uh, from the guests、uh, invited、uh, from、uh, Minister of、uh, the Environment, Mr. Shinjiro Koizumi. Good afternoon. Thank you for the introduction, Shinjiro Koizumi.、Uh, congratulations on the organization of the Japan Climate Change Action Summit. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to、uh, greet you all on the day of the Action Summit. There was a big action by the government of Chile. They were about to convene an event in December. I was preparing to travel, a COP25, because of the current circumstances in Chile. The government of Chile has decided that they have had to cancel. That news broke out today, and for all of you, because you are dealing with climate change, I'm sure that all of you are fully aware about this news. Having said that, we are thinking about what could be done about new location, new timing, how to do it.、Uh, lots of reviews are ongoing, and therefore, the Ministry of Environment of Japan, wherever and in what form and in what way the next COP. Shall be organized, we shall be completely fully prepared for the next event. Mr. Sueyoshi, thank you for your cooperation when I visited UN. This is Action Summit. So, if I may talk about action, by no mistake, the actions by Japan, there are one after another of actions. But the issue is what we are doing in Japan. Uh, the contents of what Japan is doing it is not accurately fully communicated to the global community. I think this is an issue. Right before I travel to New York, I met Prime Minister Ardern of New Zealand. From New Zealand, there was an invitation to join、uh, the Carbon Neutrality Alliance. So it was soon after I took the office as the minister and、uh, with Prime Minister Ardern. Before I became the minister, I had seen her in New Zealand, so the invitation to the Carbon Neutrality Coalition. I had always wanted、uh, to tell her that Japan would join, and it was communicated that Japan shall join the coalition. Then I flew to New York. Inside the building of United Nations, again, I bumped into、uh, Prime Minister Ada. She called me. Hey, hey, minister. Prime Minister Adan called me. Secretary General Gutierrez, I met him. I have told SG that Japan has decided to join Carbon Neutrality Coalition. SG was so happy, she told me. And then, together with Prime Minister Abe and with SG Gutierrez, I was in the same room at the summit meeting. And then SG Gutierrez said, This was a comment which is not in the script. All of a sudden, he pointed to me. SG said, Japan. Is joining the Carbon Neutrality Coalition. I heard from the Prime Minister of New Zealand. I explained the background.、So、after I returned to Japan, I met with the former President of Ireland, Ms. Robinson. And then she also said, I have heard that Japan has decided to join Carbon Neutrality Coalition. And then two weeks ago, The member countries of the Carbon Neutrality Coalition were the president of the Marshall Islands. I met the president in the ministry. We spoke a lot about that. Unfortunately, a COP will not be held in Chile.、Uh, but when meeting at Chile,、uh, then with the members of Carbon Neutrality Coalition, we can think about what to do in the future. So, in this way, one single action within the climate change、uh, community. It is starting to be disseminated. That has to be communicated further. I have to work hard on that. As the Minister of Environment, more concrete actions will be implemented, not at the central government level only, but the local government authorities and the businesses and the so called non state actors. All stakeholders should be able to work together. Right in the front, we have Ms. Yakushiji from the city of Yokohama. Yakushiji san, thank you. I met you in New York. 
TMG, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, City of Kyoto, and by 2050, net zero emission by 2050. Ms. Yakushiji, with your passion, on the setting of UN, Yokohama declared, so it was very active, so passionate at the United Nations. So net zero by 2050. Within the local government authorities, I am looking forward to many more、uh, local authorities、uh, to commit to net zero. I am committed to spreading the network at the Japanese Parliament the other day. Net zero by 2050. I didn't use that particular terminology, but the goal of Japan is、uh, beyond 2050, at the earliest time possible, Japan will realize a decarbonized community. And at the earliest timing after 2050, which means it includes 2051. I did. Say so within the Japanese parliament. That is indeed my personal commitment to realize that. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I want to work with you. Action has to be accumulated, and the action of Japan for so many years, the efforts of all of you, have to be disseminated justifiably and legitimately to the global world. I know that Mr. Topping was the keynote speaker. Right before I appeared here, I did have a one on one discussion with Nigel Topping. In the world of finance, this is TCFT and SBT, and there are many other frameworks of SDGs. Japan can be proud about the high level of participation. Two weeks ago, Mark Carney of Bank of England was in Japan. Within Mr. Carney's speech in this area, That Japan is the leader. Mark Carney was very clear, of course, about Japanese export of coal power plants. Yes, Japan is criticized, but where Japan can be proud about, we have to communicate where we can be proud about. That is what I would like to talk about in terms of the Ministry of Environment within this month. For the first in Japan, ESG Finance Award is freshly established. By February of next year, there will be a minister's award provided. So, we have made a fresh award for this area. For those of you here in the audience from the financial industry, you are welcome to apply for candidacy, if I may conclude my brief remarks. In terms of this action summit, I want to talk about marine plastic waste. At the G20 Osaka summit,、uh, we announced the Osaka Blue Ocean Vision, which was agreed and shared amongst the G20 members. But not only limited to G20s, we want to spread this activity to non G20 members as well. Japan will work hard on the actions. As one example is from next year, in Japanese convenience stores, supermarkets, at drug stores, all retail stores in Japan,、uh, the free of charge plastic shopping bags will become charged with fee. METI and Ministry of Environment, we are working together to make up the new system that there will be no more free of charge plastic bags given at the cashiers.、Uh, in terms of the total emission, in the case of Japanese emission compared to China,、uh, we are not emitting too much in terms of plastic waste compared to China, but we need to take a fundamental Action to change the climate that is up to each and every Japanese person.、Uh, if we can engage each and every Japanese citizen s next year, we will continue these activities. So, we will do our utmost. So, ladies and gentlemen, please do work in advance together with us.、Uh, once again,、uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to greet all of you, Mr. Sue Yoshi, and to all the stakeholders here. I express my deepest gratitude.、Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for the introduction. As has been introduced,、uh, I'm a Foreign Affairs、uh, State Minister, Keisuke Suzuki. Thank you very much、uh, for inviting me、uh, to this event. Such a large uh, turnout, uh, 
such an august uh, conference, I would like to offer my congratulations uh, to uh, the organizers uh, and to san who is seated right in front of me. Uh, this is uh, as a result of uh, many people's hard work. Congratulations. A G20 chair, Japan is G20 chair, and G20 summit was convened in Osaka. And in the leader's uh, declaration then, uh, here's uh, what uh, it said. We strive to foster inclusive finance for sustainable development, including public and private financing mobilization and alignment between them, as well as innovation in a wide range of areas for low emissions and resilient uh, development. Climate actions at all levels with uh, broad participation, including by non-state actors, will be the key to realizing such a paradigm shift. Here's one of the passages uh, from the leader's declaration. Up until uh, summer this uh, year, I was uh, State Minister for Finance. In the uh, Finance Ministerial held in Fukuoka, TCFD was part of the agenda. This was mentioned by Mr. Koizumi. So uh, we had a report uh, on behalf of uh, G20 as uh, chair. We are now facing a major paradigm shift. Those of you gathered here, as you know, the risk of climate change is not about uh, uh, choosing something. It's a given. So how can we overcome uh, this problem is the question. And of course, as government, uh, we have to issue appropriate uh, regulation and systems, including tax system. The appropriate uh, market will promote appropriate innovation. Based on those principles, uh, we have to be hard at work. That is true. But at the same time, those of you gathered here, each and every corporation or each and every individual, each of us, how can we change our own behavior and action? Uh, so how can we create a good ecosystem as a result of uh, changing our behaviors and actions as corporations and individuals? That's going to be key. There are lots of corporations represented here. We were talking about non-financial information. That was a hot topic. But financial information is closely connected uh, to financial information today. It's not about a distinction between financial and non-financial. In the business world, the two are closely combined. And that is something that we have to keep in mind as we tackle climate change. So various programs and institutions we government will have to formulate, and private sector corporations and individuals. Uh, how would you think about uh, these programs? So we would like your input and have uh, uh, substantial uh, discussions. And so practitioners, uh, top leaders of the business world, uh, you're gathered here. Uh, beyond uh, generations, uh, uh, cross generations, you're here. And I hope uh, that this will create a momentum uh, for the leadership of Japan uh, to create further innovation. And I hope that uh, today's uh, conference will be the springboard for that. Uh, I wish for uh, great success uh, on all your part. Last but not least, uh, I would like to uh, wish uh, for a further success and prosperity of everyone present. All three politicians, including myself, uh, invited here uh, are uh, the members of uh, the youth uh, division of LDP. We are the younger members, and we're very much willing and uh, hopeful to collaborate closely with you. So with that commitment expressed, uh, I would like to conclude my remarks. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Suzuki. Now we would like to invite uh, Mr. Hideki Makihara, State Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry, to say a few words. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am the last I am a State Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry. My name is Makihara. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations on uh, Japan Climate Action Summit 2019 uh, to all of you who are proactive in acting against climate change, including Mr. Suyoshi. First of all, I would like to extend my uh, heartfelt condolences uh, to those who suffered from a series of typhoons. 
as of today, the government is making uh, united, uh, united efforts uh, to uh, achieve a recovery as early as possible. Um, the uh, unprecedented, uh, the heavy rains and typhoons uh, uh, caused by climate change. Uh, climate change is one of the reasons. So such uh, extreme weather events are happening uh, different in different parts of the world, and uh, it is a, a, an urgent challenge uh, for us uh, to take actions against climate change. I have uh, ex uh, in, from 2013 to 2014, I have experienced uh, parliamentary uh, vice minister of uh, economy, trade, and industry. And uh, back then, I was involved in the discussions of Paris Agreement. At L in LBDP, I served as secretary general of a committee related to environment. So I was. Uh, a I have always been a member of an uh, environment family of LDP. So when uh, Paris Agreement was uh, agreed upon, uh, there was a lot of excitement. And in the Paris Agreement, um, it is um, uh, targeting to achieve a carbon neutral in the latter half of this century. So the major uh, emissions reduction cannot be realized as, uh, as a result of the extension of initiatives uh, that we are, are working on today. So to uh, generate that, so um, to realize the innovations, uh, we need to bring funds uh, to the companies who are proactively uh, working to realize innovations, uh, which would uh, realize uh, the growth of the company. We need to realize the virtual cycle of environment and growth. From that perspective, uh, the comp uh, Japan is, uh, has decided to put together a disruptive environmental innovation strategy uh, before the end of the year, and they are ongoing discussions among the experts. And to bring ESG funds to companies proactively acting on climate change, METI is uh, facilitating information disclosure uh, based on TCFD, which is a framework uh, to encourage companies uh, to disclose uh, their initiatives on climate change. And out of 874 supporters of TCFD around the world, and the number of uh, Japanese supporters exceed 200. So therefore, uh, METI uh, have organized a TCFD summit, which is the very first uh, of that kind uh, on October 8th, uh, where uh, heads of uh, industries and financial sectors around the world got together. So uh, the METI will support uh, communicating of information on sea climate change initiative by, by Japanese companies and constructive dialogue between companies and, and uh, uh, financial institutions. Of course, uh, to realize uh, uh, non-continuous innovation, uh, there is a need uh, for initiatives of uh, the private sector. So we will be supporting uh, research and, and uh, development activities of companies who are uh, engaged in innovation creations. Last but not least, uh, there, uh, there, the climate exchange-related actions need to be uh, realized, uh, and the world needs to work as a whole. So I think we are, I am the very first uh, state minister who have experiences in the field of environment as well as uh, uh, serving in the area of economy and trade and industry. So we would like to uh, strengthen the relationship between the two ministries. In the past, the two ministries were not fr in on friendly terms, but we are uh, working together uh, to achieve the same target. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Makihara. From the Financial Services Agency, the Chief Sustainable Finance Officer, Mr. Satoshi Ikeda. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for clapping for me. Thank you for that welcome. Thank you for the introduction. Chief Sustainable Finance Officer. That is my title at FSA. My name is Ikeda. When I was invited to be here on the stage, I thought I was not exactly up to this position, but I am very grateful for this precious opportunity. On the occasion of this Japan Climate Action Summit, First of all, I congratulate you on your effort to 
convene this event, and in order to prepare for this event, you have worked hard. I express my respect. In terms of action, it so happens that from Paris of France, I have just landed on Japan. Green Finance Forum of the OECD was where I went to. I served as the panelist, TCFT Consortium, and what Japan is doing. I tried to appeal as much as I could to the extent what Japan was uh, doing. Within one of the agenda of OECD, climate finance and uh, finance industry is becoming increasingly important. Uh, so, climate change and finance, ever since the Paris Agreement, uh, this agenda has uh, just become increasingly important. Lots of discussions ongoing. Behind this background, at the Financial Services Agency, the ultimate goal of finance is for the companies or for the sustainable growth of the community or for the stable asset formation of the Japanese population is to enhance the welfare of the whole of Japan. That is the ultimate goal of our administration, and therefore, with that in mind, we are acting on several fronts. After all, there is the investment chain on a mid- and long-term base in order to enhance the value of investment. There must be forward-looking identification of risk and opportunities for extensive phenomena. Both risk and opportunity exist, which includes climate-related risks and opportunity, the financial impact, how to be prepared and to identify. That is the phase of our whole discussion. As has been mentioned frequently, the position of the FSA is working with METI and Ministry of Environment. We are working together under the backdrop of TCFD Consortium, which is to support uh, the private sector efforts so that companies and their businesses uh, can accurately identify climate-related risks and opportunities and that there be disclosures in accordance with the TCFD. That is what all of our ministries support. As our supervisory authority, NGFS Network for greening the financial system, NGFS. So we do have this network within the finance authority. The climate-related risks could have a negative impact onto the financial sector, and we are discussing within this system. At the same time, the effort of NGFS is together with FSB, the Financial Stability Board, or with the Basel a Commission on Bank Supervision, NGFS activities are spreading to FSB and Basel. Uh, because such movements are ongoing, FSA wishes to work with all uh, stakeholders in order to advance our endeavors. Most of you are from the corporate sector and the financial industry. I sincerely hope that enterprise value, your corporate values, be uh, protected against uh, climate-related risk and opportunities in the case of financial industry to protect the value of the asset, but also expand the value of that kind of uh, virtuous cycle of uh, uh, climate and uh, growth. I hope that uh, all the sectors here uh, will uh, be successful in your endeavor, and the Financial Services Agency is uh, happy to support as much as we can. We wish to work together with you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Ikeda.